It's VBS season here at LifePoint. So for the next few weeks, we're going to be featuring some blast from the past services. We know you'll enjoy them and look forward to continuing our Never Forget series about midsummer. Enjoy the service. We are going to play Ooey Gooey Grab Bucket. So Emma, you're up here to play Ooey Gooey Grab Bucket. Let me show you what's in these buckets first, okay? Now, first off, I want you to know that there is a $5 Walmart gift card. And if you draw the $5 Walmart gift card, you get one, and you also get to draw a name out of the bucket for a virtual player. Okay, so you'll each get a $5 Walmart gift card and you'll get to choose what bucket you stick your hand in. Let me show you what's in some of these buckets. Okay, so like right here, I'm going with a, a soup theme today. And uh, this is a, a chicken and dumpling soup with bean soup combination. And the next one is just good old fashioned chicken noodle soup. And um, this one is a, a vegetable soup with some rice and with some little beefaroni things in it or something like that. Um, uh, there's also this one, which is chicken and rice and noodles, which is a really good one. And, and then, oh, my favorite, I've changed it from the theme just one time, the pickle, the pickle bucket, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're going to be blindfolded. And what I'm gonna do, I'll let you pick a blindfold in a second. And I'm gonna start spinning the wheel. And I'm gonna hold your arm over the buckets. And when I, when you tell me to stop, you get to choose which bucket. When you tell me to stop, then we're going to stop and you're gonna dive your hand into the bucket. And like I say, if you get the, the gift card, you get to keep that gift card, okay? So are you ready? Now remember one thing, do not, when you get your hand in the bucket, if you get it ooey gooey, do not go like this, okay? Because you'll get it all over the roof, all over the ceiling, all over everything, okay? So are you ready? Which, which mask would you like? Pink. A pink one. I thought that's what you picked. There you go. There's the pink one right there. Let me wipe off my hands here. All right, because I'm going to be holding your arm. All righty. You ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Now, you're not the only one that gets to do this. We're going to have some other players throughout the service to do it, too. So, here we go. Ready? All right. Are you ready? Here we go. Is that, is that the hand you use? All right. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. No, I'm not spinning yet. I was holding it over. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now I'm spinning though. Okay. So you tell me when to stop. Stop. Right there. That's your button. All right. Are you ready? One. Skipping up your fingers a little bit. Two. Three. And ah! there we go. Great job, Emma. But you didn't get the gift. So there you go. You can go wash that off. All right, thank you. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes to play another round of this. So stand your feet, shake it out, and let's worship God. I'm feeling good, good, good in a crazy way. God's love changed me more than I can say. Can't keep this in, gotta let it.
everyone, I'm Miss Sarah and I am so glad you've joined us today for LifePoint Kids. If this is your first time with us, or if you've been here a lots and lots of times before, we're super excited that you're here. Just a friendly reminder that we are having in-person services on Sunday at 9 and 11 a.m. and 318 Kids on Tuesday nights at 7. And of course, we will be continuing our Sunday online services. Everyone wants to be accepted and loved. Too often we look for it from others. We chase after friendships and relationships that are not healthy simply because we so badly want to be loved. The truth is there is no more true and perfect and pure love than God's love. He loves each of us completely, fully, and unconditionally. God will never fail us or leave us. Today, we're going to learn the story of the woman that met Jesus at the well. We will learn that God's love is strong and that looking for true love anywhere else is a sad waste of time and effort. Well, we've got a great service ahead, so let's start out by joining Miss Cheyenne in prayer. Bow your heads, please. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for providing us with another wonderful day, and thank you for showing us what it's like to truly know what love is. We hope that you continue to show us the way and continue to show us how to be grateful. In your name we pray, amen. Sit back and relax as we join Max Montgomery with his special guest, Reggie Smith, who seems to be looking for love in all of the wrong places. Live from New York, it's Crazy Little Thing Called Love with your host, Max Montgomery. Now, here's Max. All right, oh, ho, ho, ho. all right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exciting crowd, you may have a seat. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome to this show we call Crazy Little Thing Called Love. I'm your host, Max Montgomery. I'm here because I love to remind the world, if you ain't got love, you ain't got nothing. <laughs> you ain't got nothing. That is exactly right. Today, our topic is looking for love in all the wrong places. You know, everybody wants to be loved. Everybody wants to be accepted. But sometimes people spend so much time and energy trying to receive love and acceptance from other people, they miss out on the love and acceptance of God. My special guest today really needs to learn this lesson. Would you please welcome to the show, Reginald Smith. Woo! All right. Okay. Well, welcome to the show, Reginald. Um, thank you for having me. I uh, didn't think you'd want me to come. Well, of course we want you to come. Now, Reginald... Call me uh, Reggie. Okay, Reggie. Now, it says here that you have other names that you go by as well. Yeah, I have a, a lot of different groups that I hang around, and I want to be accepted by as many people as possible. When I'm around those people, I go by different names. Well, uh, could you give us some examples? Yeah, like when I hang around the skater dudes. I wear a t-shirt with a skull on it, and I go by the name Scab. Scab? That's gross! Yeah, but it makes me sound tough. Like, whenever I hang around the cowboy dudes, I put on a cowboy hat, and I go by the name Bucky. Howdy, y'all. I'm Bucky. <laughs> Bucky, huh? Yep. That's right. And when I try to hang around my hip-hop crew, I wear lots of bling-bling and go by my rapper name. Well, what exactly is your rapper name? Well, uh, that one's a little tough to say. Uh, <clears throat> it's Homie G Dog. Wiggity wiggity yo yo. <laughs> You're kidding me. Nah, man. I'm for real, yo. Well, Reggie, I want to ask you. Why do you feel the need to dress in all kinds of different outfits and, and go by all kinds of different names and try to fit into so many different crowds? It's because I want to have friends. I want people to, to love me, to think I'm cool so that they'll accept me. Well, Reggie, I can understand the need to be loved and accepted, but you don't have to dress in a certain way and talk in a certain way in order to be accepted by others. 
Anyone who won't accept you for who you are is not a true friend. Really? That's right. And did you know that the book of 1 John teaches us that God loves and accepts us just the way we are? We shouldn't go trying to find acceptance and love from people because people will sometimes let us down and treat us wrong. But God will never let us down. He loves us just the way we are. We should look for love in the right place, and that is in God. Wow. I didn't know that. It's true. You've been spending an awful lot of time and energy trying to find love and acceptance from people. True love and acceptance is found only in God. Wow. I'm really glad to hear that. I never knew how much God truly loved me. You know, I was trying to hang out with all those groups of people, but they never really loved me. But now I know that God loves me no matter what. He loves me just the way I am. Well, Reggie, I am so glad that you dropped by today, and I hope you learned a valuable lesson. I sure did. You know, I'm not going to be looking for my worth in people anymore. I know that God loves me, and He loves me just the way I am. And I'm going to stop looking for love in all the wrong places. Well, that's all the time we have for today. It's time for you to get into your lesson. You're going to learn how to stop looking for love in all the wrong places and start looking where love can truly be found, and that's in God. Join us next time as we learn a little bit more from the book of 1 John about this crazy little thing called love. This is Max Montgomery reminding you, if you ain't got love, you ain't got nothing. <laughs> you ain't got nothing. See you later. <laughs>
What's up? What's up? Ah, oh, yeah. What's up, peeps? It's me, the SKI to the double T-L-E-F. Skittles in the hizzy. And I'm ready to tell you, what's up? Today, we're talking about looking for love in all the wrong places. So, every time somebody asks you, what's up? You tell them, God has all the love that I need. So many people look for love and acceptance in all kinds of different things. That ain't very smart. No, it ain't. Don't be looking for love in all them wrong places. The only place you need to be looking for love is from God. He's got all the love you need, baby. So anytime, I mean anytime somebody asks you, what's up? You tell them, God has all the love that I need. And that's what's up. I got a rainbow of flavor and I'm living for my savior. Skittles out, bang, bang, yeah. As we just heard from Skittles, today's what's up is God has all the love that I need. So every time you hear one of us yell, what's up? Stand to your feet and yell, God has all the love that I need. All right, ready to practice our what's up? What's up? God has all the love that I need. That was simply marvelous. Let's see if you can do it again. What's up? God has all the love that I need. We just love seeing the What's Up videos that everyone has been sending in. If you would like to, you can have someone make a video clip of you saying What's Up too. When you're done, send it through Messenger to the LifePoint Kids Facebook page. This is open to everyone watching, but remember, kids, you need to get permission from your parents to participate. We'd love to see you in one of the LifePoint Kids online services. So let's do our what's up one more time. What's up? God has all the love that I need. Beautiful. And that's today's what's up. What's up? God has all the love that I need. Today's Bible story is found in the book of John, chapter 4. Jesus and his disciples were traveling through the land of Samaria. They came to the city called Sychar. There was a well there where the people of Sychar drew their drinking water. This well was actually dug by Jacob, the son of Abraham, a long, long time ago. Jesus became tired, so he sat down beside the well in order to rest. Soon, a woman came to draw water from the well. Jesus spoke to the woman. He said, please give me a drink. The woman was surprised that Jesus would talk to her. After all, Jesus was a Jew. Jews didn't usually speak to people like her. She was a Samaritan. Jesus spoke to the woman about how he came to the earth to bring living water for all people. If they would drink of his living water, they would never thirst again. The woman was very curious about this. When she asked Jesus to give her some of his living water, Jesus said, go get your husband. The woman said, I don't have a husband. Jesus answered back to her. His answer seemed to show that he already knew all about this woman. Jesus said, it's true. You have had five husbands and the man you are living with now is not your husband. Why would Jesus say this to the woman? There's a good reason. Jesus wanted her to know that God has all the love that she needs. This woman had been trying to find love in men in relationships. She had been married five different times. She still was just as miserable as when she started. Jesus wanted her to know that he knew all about her looking for love in all the wrong places. God was ready to give her a new life and a new love that she had never experienced before. The woman was so excited that she ran through the town telling everyone, I have found the Messiah. The Messiah means one sent from God. Jesus was the one who was sent from God to bring the good news of God's love to the world. Today we are going to learn that we don't have to search in for love and acceptance from others. We can find complete, true, amazing love right at the source, God. Hey, what's up? God has all the love that I need. 
All right, so we're back for another round of ooey gooey grab bucket. And Clayton, you heard me explain the rules earlier, right? How we're gonna play this. So I'd like you to go ahead and pick a mask. What mask would you like? Blue. The blue one, all right, for boy, there you go. Put on the blue mask. I'm glad you didn't pick the pink one. Uh, let's see, okay, so you ready? Which hand do you use? This one, okay, so as I told uh, Emma, do not, hey, let me get that down just a little bit, there we go. All right, you see me, see me picking your nose? No, that's good. All right, so I'm gonna start spending. Tell, <laughs> tell me when to stop. Here we go. Any time of the day. Ready? Open up your fingers. One, two, three, and oh, there we go. Chicken noodle. All right, good job, man. Hold on a second. Take your other hand and rip off some paper towel for me. There you go. So you got paper towel to stick up under your hand. Ready? There you go. All right. Good job. Good sport. Good sport, Clayton. All righty. So we'll be back in a few more minutes with another person to play Ooey Gooey Grab Bucket. Hello kids, it's me, Wrong, Wrong Note. I'm a singer-songwriter trying to write the perfect love song. But today, I'm here to teach you the power verse. Today's power verse says, We know how much God loves us, and we have put our trust in Him. 1 John 4.16 Whoa, that was great! <laughs> but I need some help this time saying the power verse with me. So let's have all the boys stand and say it with me on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. We know how much God loves us and we have put our trust in Him. 1 John 4.16 Oh, that was great! <laughs> but all you boys can sit down and I need all the girls to stand up and say it with me. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Three, we know how much God loves us, and we have put our trust in Him. 1 John 4.16 Great job, great job. Have a seat. You know, I've noticed that when people are looking for love, they'll go searching in all sorts of people, places, and things, trying to find true love. But you know, there's only one place you can find true love, and that's God. So now that we know that, why don't we stand one more time and say the power verse together on the count of three. One, two, three. We know how much God loves us and we have put our trust in Him. 1 John 4.16 Oh man, that was great. You can be seated. Well, it's time for me to go. But before I do, let me try my latest love song on you. It goes something like this. One, two, Three, four, five, man, you're cute, that ain't no job. Oh, well, that one might need a little work still. But until next time, this is Wrong Note saying, if loving the Lord is wrong, I don't want to be right. Hey, hey, yeah. What's up? Good morning. It's so great to see all your bright, smiley faces today. And even if you're not smiling, you will be after I get finished sharing this news with you. On April 3rd, April 3rd at 10 a.m. in the morning, we are going to have our annual Easter egg hunt. And since we didn't get to have it last year, we're going to allow sixth graders to be a part of it. So this year, it'll be open to babies through sixth graders. After the event is over, we'll have hot dogs, hamburgers, and chips for everybody. Be sure to let your parents know, let your cousins know, let the neighbors you like know, even the neighbors you don't like. Tell them about it and make sure you invite your friends too. You can get all the details about it at the church website 
or on the church Facebook page or the kids Facebook page. It's going to be a really, really great time. The title of our lesson this week is Looking for Love in All the Wrong Places. The first book of John has so much to teach us about love. So many people look for love in all the wrong places. They try to find love and acceptance by being popular or being in the cool people crowd. They try to find it with boyfriends or girlfriends. Yuck! The problem is that those things are not where true love is found. 1 John 4, 7 says, Dear friends, let us continue to love one another, for love comes from God. Love comes from where? That's right. It comes from God. Love comes from God. God is the source of love. God is the source of love, and he's the creator of love. There would be no such thing as love if if it weren't for God. So why would we ever look for real love in anything but him? That would be about as smart as knowing that your mom is the source of the best macaroni and cheese ever. Every time you eat her mac and cheese, it's a party in your mouth. You would know she's a source, right? But you decide you're going to go ahead and let your little sister make some for you. You're going to say, hey, sis, make me some mac and cheese, please. It isn't going to be anything, though, compared to your mom's. It might not even be edible. And then you wonder why you aren't satisfied with that mac and cheese. Well, it's because you aren't looking to the source. You're looking in all the wrong places. See, the same way your mom is the source for the good mac and cheese, God is the source of love. Don't be looking for love in all the wrong places. He is the source of love. And Jesus is the proof of God's love. See, God knew that many people would refuse to believe that he could love them the way that they were meant to be loved. So he sent his son, Jesus, to prove his love for everyone. We learned about that in last week's service. 1 John 4, 9 spells it out for us very clearly. It says, God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. Now that is proof of God's love. How do I know God loves me? Because Jesus, because of Jesus, because God sent his son Jesus to the earth to die for me. How do you know God loves you? Because of Jesus. God loves you so much that he was willing to sacrifice his only, his only son for you. Jesus is proof of God's love. When someone says something you don't quite believe, you tell them, prove it, right? You say, prove it. Well, God proved it. He didn't just say he loved you. He proved it by sending his son to die on the cross for you. Isn't that amazing? Well, you might say, well, well, that's great and all, but, but I'm not sure it's for me. Well, I've got some really good news for you. I need Jesus. I need Jesus and you need Jesus. We all need Jesus. Why run from the source of true love? Why keep looking for love in all the wrong places? You need Jesus. You need God's amazing love. Some of you have been chasing after popularity and friendships that are not good for you. Some of you have, been even, have even thought you need a boyfriend or you need a girlfriend in order to feel loved and accepted. Well, none of that is real love. You need Jesus. And once you accept his love for you, you'll never, ever have to look for love again. I want you to pray with me. 
Dear Lord, we just thank you so much for forgiving us of our sins. We thank you that you loved us so much that you sent the Son, your Son, to die on the cross for our sins. That you proved your love to us. That you proved that we don't need any love except for yours. Yours is the true love, Lord. And that's the most important love we can have. We ask you to help us to accept that understand it and lord we thank you for it we thank you that you are the true source of love we love you and thank you for this in jesus name amen so we just talked about how much jesus loves you and he loves you so much he died on the cross for your sins and in order for god to forgive us of our sins something or someone had to be sacrificed had to be the sacrifice and jesus chose to be that sacrifice he took the punishment of our sins. The first step to being forgiven is for your sins is to ask Jesus into your heart. If you've never decided to do that, today might do a really great day to do it. It might be a great day. All you have to do is pray and tell him that you accept him as your savior, that you believe he died on the cross for your sins, and that you have to ask him to forgive you of those sins. It's that simple. You can go to your mom or dad. You can go to a grandparent. You can go to your older brother and sister. And I'm sure any of them will walk through you through the steps of accepting Jesus into your heart. I promise you it'll be the best thing you ever do. What's up? God has all the love that I need. <laughs> Hey, it's brain drain time. Let's see what you can remember from today's lesson. Question number one. What's up today? God loves me. God gives me love. Or God has all the love that I need. Good job. God has all the love that I need. Question number two. What was the name of the person Max interviewed today? Reggie? Roberta or Ross? Reggie. His name was Reggie. Question number three. Where did Jesus stop and rest when traveling through Samaria? At the spa, at the store, or at the well? You're right. At the well. Question number four. Who did Jesus tell the woman at the well to go and get? Her son? her husband, or her doctor. Good job, they told her to go get her husband. Question number five. How many times had the woman already been married? None, 15 times, or five times? That's right, she's been married five times. Question number six. Did the woman believe Jesus was the Messiah? Yes or no? Of course, of course she thought Jesus was the Messiah. Question number seven. According to our lesson today, God is the blank of love. Is he the father of love, the source of love, or the giver of love? Of course, God is the source of love. Question number eight. According to our lesson today, Jesus is the blank of God's love. Is he the heart of God's love? Is he the example of God's love? Or is he the proof of God's love? Good job, everybody. Jesus is the proof of God's love. Question number nine. According to our lesson today, I blank Jesus. I love Jesus, I need Jesus, or I help Jesus. Of course, I need Jesus. I know we always love Jesus, but today's lesson is stating, I need Jesus. And question number 10, where was our power verse found? 1 John 4.16, Habakkuk 2.4, or Philippians 4.6? That's right, 1 John 4, 16. So how did you do? Did you do the best you could? Great job, everybody.
All right, so we're back with Savannah. It's Savannah, we're back with Savannah, and Savannah is going to play Ooey Goo Grab Bucket with us. So you heard all the instructions, right? So I want you to pick a mask, this one, this one, or this one. How about that one? Yeah. There you go, all right, put that mask on. All right, can you see my fingers? No, put the mask back on, thank you. Can you see my fingers? No. No, you sure? You can feel the breeze, okay. Here we go, this arm. All right, so the same thing goes for you. When you tell me to stop, I will stop. Can I touch the top? No, you can't touch the top. You have to wait, okay? Ready? And we're going. I'm throwing you off because you took me that time. Ah, no. uh, so now you have no idea where you are. I'm scared. No, I'm not scared, but can we Tell me when to stop. Stop? Step in those fingers. Ready? One, two, three. I actually did it. You actually, don't pick, take off your mask. You drew, all right, yes, you got a $5 Walmart gift card. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, you did it. Okay, but hold on now. Now you get to draw a name out of the bucket for a virtual winner. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? All right, so we have a virtual winner and it's going to be, oh. who's the name on that? Titus Reese. Titus Reese, Titus, you are a virtual winner today. You will get a $5 Walmart gift card. Just remember, you have to contact us and let us know that you watched today, though. All right, well, good job. You won a $5 gift card for you and one for Titus. Go ahead and take a seat. And I, I think we may have an adult coming up in a minute. So. God has all the love that I we are so glad that you chose to be a part of Life Point Kids Church today. We hope you enjoyed the service and hope you've discovered a little bit more about how much Jesus really loves you. Let's pray and ask Jesus to help us with what we've learned today. Dear Lord, we thank you so much that we got to come to church today and we got to hear your word and hear how you are the ultimate source of love that you are the only true source of love. We thank you for your love for us. We thank you for your son. We thank you that you sent him to die on the cross for our sins, Lord. We ask you to help us to remember this and help us to share with other people and help us to not look for love in all the wrong places. That when we feel we need love to look to you for that love because you are the ultimate source of love. We ask this in Jesus' name. We ask you to help us to have a great week this week. Keep us all safe. Wrap your arms of love around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hang out for a few more minutes and check out these LifePoint Kids bloopers. See you next week at LifePoint Kids, where we're learning to live for Jesus every day. All right, so we're back again for yet another round of ooey gooey grab bucket. And this time we have a brave teenager up here. Uh, uh, Caitlin, are you ready? Did you hear all the instructions on how we're gonna do this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need you to pick a mask. We don't wanna reuse any mask, okay, <laughs> so. All right, so, um, are you ready? I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put your hand up over this. Hey, make sure to tap me whenever I'm hovering over that gift card. I, I don't think so. <laughs> no. Put that back down. There you go. All right, here we go. So I'm spinning, I'm spinning. No, I'm not. I was holding it over the food. Sweet. All right, we'll there you go. I'm fed spinning, and you tell me Keep when to stop. Do you like pickles? Oh, they're delicious. Oh, that's good. <laughs> stop. All right, stiffen your fingers, <laughs> and here we go. Ah, it's beans. Yes, beans too hard. Here you go. We we'll give you that. You forgot to tap me. I'm, I did not. <laughs> Go ahead and bring the back, mask back later. All right, so we got, we're going to do another one in a few minutes, so just hang around and you'll yes. see. Sarah can actually win a gift card and win a gift card for someone else. So uh, you've seen what we're doing. You know the rules. All right. So there's a mask. Never been used. Brand new. There you go. All right. So I know cheating. Can you see the buckets? Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm not gonna try to pick your nose. So, okay. you right. <laughs> so when, you, uh, when you tell me to stop, we'll stop, and you can stick your hand in the bucket and draw out whatever it is, all right? 
Stop. Sometime today. <laughs> All ready. right, and ready. One, two, three, and ah! yeah! <laughs> yes, it was a chicken noodle soup. And good job, Miss Sarah. If you'll take your other hand, and if you'll uh, pull off a towel there you can put it over there. all right good job all right thank you all for joining us for it now remember if your name was drawn today for a five dollar walmart gift card you need to let us know that you watched so that we can send that gift card to you all right well it's been a great day at life point kids uh, i hope you enjoyed the service and i hope you enjoyed the game Hang out for a few minutes and check out these LifePoint Kids bloopers. See you next week at LifePoint Kids, where we're learning to live, haven't been. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 we're good. <laughs> yeah, you're getting some ammunition. <laughs> so, <laughs> question number four. Did Moses immediately obey God? Yes or no? Okay. That's right. He did not obey, oh God. Oh, obey, oh God. Obey, oh God. <laughs> oh, Deo, oh, oh, oh. That one meant it in the bloopers. <laughs> That's right. He did not obey God. <laughs> you think that's funny? <laughs> All I hear that was obey, oh. <laughs> okay. See, Caitlin? <laughs> it happens to all of us. That's right. He did not obey God immediately. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Obey Stop. I'm sorry. 837? No. I'm trying, Shh, don't look at me, turn around, okay. That's right, he did not obey God immediately. You want to screw you on, that was mine. And I did.